Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to Power Apps Beginner series. You are watching 8th part of this series and in this session we are going to talk about how you can develop your first canvas app with the live project. Here we have taken an example of one real life project which is leave management system. So now let's get started and let me explain you project requirements. Now, first of all, let me explain you the real life project requirement which we need to achieve throughout this entire session series. We want to develop live management system where there are two different roles. One is requester and one is live approver. The home page of the app will look like this where we have two tabs for the requester and one is for live approver. When I click on apply live, it will open this type of form where requester need to fill in this type of information like whether the leave is planned or unplanned leave, leave type, leave description, department, manager, start date, end date and based on that number of days should be calculated automatically. They need to add an attachment and when they hit save this leave will be stored to the SharePoint list. Now. What happen here is based on the selected manager this leave is assigned to appropriate manager. Manager can approve or reject this leave application. Now in my, now that is all about the apply leave. Now let's say I submitted my leave application but I wanted to know its status and I want to check total apply leave throughout the year. For that what can I do is I need to prepare one more section that is my leaves. Once you click on my leaves, it will open this type of grid to us. Here you can see that all the detailed information will be available. As a requester, you can edit the item from here as well. But this edit button will be only visible until and unless this leave has not been approved. Once it's been approved, you can only cancel the leave. You cannot edit the leave information. Right? So this is something that we are going to achieve throughout the session. Now my manager came here and go to this section at that time only leave that assigned to him should be visible to him. So it will open the similar type of grid layout for them. Now from there manager can approve or reject the leave application. They can also add the additional comment from there. Right. So this mechanism is something that we are going to cover throughout the session. One more thing I want to add here. Here we are going to use so many conditional statement as well. Let's say whenever the requester came, they should not be able to the fields which are available only for the managers. So that role management, showing and hiding the fields and all of this other conditional statement we are going to learn throughout the session. Now let me explain you list schema. We have taken two different lists over here. One is leaves that is the master list. And second one is approver list. In approver we have the different department and approver. Let's say for HR department there are three approvers. Development department there are four approvers and for managers there is one approver. Right? Now let's say this is my master list for leaves. It will store all the basic information like title, department, manager, start date, end date, number of days, leave status, leave type, type of leave, manager comment, all of these things. So that is how my list will look like. Now let me show you my list setting so you will get the idea about the data type that I have configured there. You can take a screenshot and create the similar list in your tenant. Same way here let me show you the list setting. List column type will look like this. You can take the screenshot or post the video for a while and create the similar list in your environment. So here we have talked about the business requirement as well as the list structure. Now from my next session we are going to build step by step procedure for building this application and first we will create the new form over there. So stay tuned with me for my next session. If you have any question related to this topic 
you can add your questions in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number stay connected with me have a great day goodbye